Thea Lemkin, who is a professor of law at Yale University and specializing in teaching uh, matters about the United Nations. Dr. Lemkin is the man who created the word genocide and really uh, has fought this thing from long, long ago. Uh, Dr. Lemkin, could you give us a little background on how you came to be interested in this genocide fight originally? Gladly, Mr. Howe. Uh, it leads me very far back to my childhood. Everybody has sentimental memories from childhood, and everybody has a book he loved most. One of my inspirations in this field was a book by Sienkiewicz, Quo Vadis, which described the terrible sufferings of early Christians. Later on, I became interested in genocide because it happened so many times. It happened to the Armenians, and uh, after the Armenians uh, got a very rough deal at the Versailles Conference because uh, the criminals who were guilty of genocide were not punished. You know that they have organized a organization, a terroristic organization, which took justice in their own hands. The trial of pa Talat Pasha in 1921 in Berlin uh, is very instructive. Uh, a man uh, uh, whose mother was killed in the genocide case of uh, killed Talat Pasha. And he told to the court that he did it because his mother came in, in his sleep and incited him many times. Uh, here is a murder of, of your mother, you don't do a thing about it. And uh, so he committed a crime. So you see, uh, as a lawyer, I thought that uh, a crime should not be uh, punished by the victims, but should be punished by a court, by international law. And you took it up uh, then again when Hitler came to power in Germany, didn't Correct, you? Correct, in 1933, and there was another big case of genocide yet who, which uh, uh, interested me, a big case in Near East, and what would like to mention the country. There are two cases in 1933, and then I said uh, to myself, now being a lawyer, I'm going to do something about it. And I submitted a draft convention uh, to a committee of a conference of legal experts, which were connected with the League of Nations. And however, uh, no action was taken. And then, however, but Hitler took action, and that precipitated conscience of the world to do something about it. You had to wait till the United Nations was established to get the action that has finally resulted, didn't you? I would say partially something was done about it in London when I was an advisor to into the American prosecutor and we wrote in the genocide charge in, in the Nuremberg indictment. Unfortunately, the court did uh, took a restricted rather stand on genocide and uh, punished on the crimes committed in connection with war. So. Uh, as far as genocide committed in time of peace, as uh, strange as it might seem, it was still a lawful yeah. thing. And therefore, you, I tried to interest the United Nations, and I have approached three delegations, the delegation of Cuba, Panama, and India, sponsored the resolution, and then we started the ball rolling. Well, that brings us to